the symptoms for Moya Moya really fall into several main categories. The first and the most important one is stroke. And the stroke, by stroke, I mean a, the development, the sudden development of a permanent neurologic deficit. So these are kids who show up with a paralysis of one side or their face, or who have lost the ability to speak, uh, or who have lost part of their eyesight. So that's one category. The second category will be children who have temporary loss of function. These are the kids with so-called TIAs where there's a temporary weakness or temporary paralysis that get, gets better again. And this again is due to the transient loss of blood supply to the brain. There's a group of kids who present with very bad headache. And we think the headache is due to the enlargement of blood vessels over the surface of the brain, the brain trying to send more blood uh, to these areas where the blood flow is being restricted by the narrowing at the skull base. And uh, this headache is often one of the early symptoms of Moya Moya. And then there's a whole panoply of other symptoms that are more exotic and rare. Uh, uh, it makes me glad sometimes I'm not a pediatric neurologist because some of these manifestations of the condition are very uh, difficult to pick up and it takes a very skilled practitioner to be able to make the diagnosis.